Hello friends, uh, in this video we take some example of uh, how to find the converse, inverse and contrapositive statement for any particular conditional statement. As we already discussed about how we, uh, what are the different truth tables for all the logical connectives in my previous video. So first go to, go to uh, that video and uh, just see what, uh, how we prepare the truth table for all the logical connective and what are the, give, what are the different conditions of uh, having a converse, inverse and contrapositive statement. In this video, we take some example and solve the some problem. As we know that if we have a conditional statement like this, if P then Q, this is the conditional statement, conditional statement, then uh, the converse, the converse of this conditional statement is if Q then P, okay. The inverse of the state of this conditional statement is if not P then not Q and the contrapositive statement is contrapositive statement is if not Q then not P okay. So if this is the conditional statement and according to this conditional statement these are the other statement which is called converse, inverse and contrapositive. So according to this rules now we take first example. My first example is if the statement is if you stay in Mumbai then you visit Taj Mahal. So for this particular conditional statement we have to find converse, inverse and contrapositive according to this rules. See we suppose that there are two statements if P if this is P then this is Q okay. So we suppose here consider P is you stay in Mumbai, you stay in Mumbai, this is a P statement and Q is that you visit, you visit Taj Mahal, Taj Mahal or any other monument, okay. So, if this is P and this is Q, then according to this, what is the converse? How we write the converse of this conditional statement? We make opposite of this P, if P then Q. Then the converse of this, if Q then P. So, the converse is, converse is, if Q then P. So, we make it as, if you visit the Taj Mahal, then you stay in Mumbai okay so we write it as if you visit Taj Mahal then or we can mark it as by comma then you stay in Mumbai okay so this is the converse now for the contrapositive we will make it as not Q then not P, okay. So the contrapositive statement is <coughs> contrapositive. So if Q, if not Q, then not P. So the statement, what is Q here? You visit the Taj Mahal, okay. So if we make mark it as not Q, so this is, it becomes if you do not visit, visit Taj Mahal, Taj Mahal then not P will become then you do not stay in Mumbai then you do not stay in Mumbai okay this is contrapositive and what is the inverse of this inverse will become if not P then not Q so the inverse of this statement is what is P here you stay in Mumbai so it will become not P so, if you do not stay in Mumbai, do not stay in Mumbai, then you do not visit 
ताज महल ताज महल ओके राइट सो दिस इज हाउ वी प्रिपेयर कन्वर्स इनवर्स एंड कॉन्ट्रापोजिटिव नाउ वी टेक अनदर एग्जाम्पल सपोज इफ आई हैव स्टेटमेंट कॉल्ड इफ आई एम लेट देन आई डो नॉट टेक द ट्रेन टू वर्क सो सिमिलरली for this conditional statement we also we have to find converse inverse and contrapositive so suppose first of all we have to suppose ki this is p this is p i am late and i do not take the train to work is q this is q here so the converse is converse is if q then p so it becomes if i do not take the train i do not take the train to work then p is i am late then i am late okay then next statement is contrapositive contrapositive statement say if not q then not p so what is q here i do not take the train to work but i have in the contrapositive i have to represent not q so it will become if i take the train because q having a not sign so this not sign will be cancel out and it will become if i take the train to work then not p what is p here i am late then it becomes then i am not late okay so this is contrapositive and the inverse of this is inverse becomes if not p then not q so the statement becomes if i am not late then then uh, not q becomes so this not cancel out then i take the train to work okay right now we take another example if i have a statement like this if 3 is less than b and 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 then sin pi by 3 is equal to 1 by 2 suppose if this is p this is q and this is r so the symbolic form of this statement is p and q p and q if p and q then what is r here so again we have to uh, express this statement into converse contrapositive and inverse statement so see here first is converse for the converse statement we have to uh express this in, uh, into symbolic form is uh converse is if q if the conditional statement is p, if p then q the converse of is this if q then p but here this p becomes p and q and this q becomes r so substitute this value q in place of q we have to write it r and in place of p we have to write it p and q so the contrapositive statement become if r then if r then p and q so this is the symbolic form for the converse so the statement becomes if r what is r if this if sin pi by 3 is equal to 1 by 2 then p and q p and q is then 3 is less than b okay sin pi by 5 pi by 3 equal to 1 by 2 then 3 is less than b and 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 okay now next is contrapositive so for the contrapositive statement we have to not q then not p but in place of q we have r and in place of p we have p and q so the symbolic form of the contrapositive becomes if not r then not p and q so 
so the statement becomes if not r means if sin pi by 3 is not equal to 1 by 2 then not p and q this will become then 3 is greater than b okay or we can write it as 3 is not less than equal to b or we can mark it as 3 is greater than b and 1 plus 1 is not equal to 2. So, this is a contrapositive. Then the third statement is inverse. The inverse is uh, not p then not q. So, that uh, this is if not p then not q the, the, but instead of this we have to write it down as this becomes if not p and q then not r. So, the statement becomes if not p and q this means if 3 is greater than b and 1 plus 1 is not equal to 2 then not r. What is not r? This then sin pi by 3 is not equal to 1 by 2. Okay. So, this is how we express the any conditional statement into converse, inverse and contrapositive. I hope you have uh, understood this but still if you have any doubt then you can ask in our comment section and you can send your query directly to our business email id that is itechnicallearning at the rate gmail.com. So, now you can also connect with us on our Facebook page that is iTechnica page and on Twitter account we have also have a Twitter, uh, Twitter account and Insta page. Thank you so much.